and more to come. And so the opening face-off of period number three. Turn the shot on net. Oh, and it's off the mark. That's what I would call a great A scoring chance, but the shot just missed the target. Got it at the point. Brings a shot. Terrific save. Terrific opportunity. The goalie makes himself look big. The tie-up, he needed help, and he got it. Rister dings it off the iron. That puck came free. Could have been handled better. Oh, broke it up. Right in front. Terrific save there. Didn't look like he had anything to shoot at, and he made it tough. They won that draw. Hammers one. Save. Gives it to the point. Takes that pass from the other point man. Back to Ekman Larson. Point to point. A shot. And he missed the net. Wicked shot there. That's why I wasn't a goalie, Doc. Wonderful work in close and a brilliant save. He's locked in now. Great save. The Coyotes prevailing on the faceoff. Goes to the backhand. He stood in the lane and blocked it. Quick wrist shot. That shot's blocked. Puck controlled now by the defense. Crosses that line. Let's it go. Turned aside with a pad. Forsberg's cut through the neutral zone. Fires, not on the net. Skill play by Ryan Nugent Hopkins. Save there. Buffalo's along the wing at center ice. Shot on, and a save. He's in his own end of the ice now, and what's up? Pass attempt to Forsberg. And he gains the zone. And at an angle to Chikrin. Play stopped. That puck is just held. Over five minutes skated here in the third. Arizona's up in this game, 1-0. The Coyotes get the draw. Oh, and the pass wouldn't go. Slid to Ferk. Right into the slot. Good textbook save. Arizona's winging it at neutral ice. Brings a shot. Stop! What a quick release on that snapshot. No way he's going to miss from the low slot. The goalie can only bail out so many times. He gives it everything he's got on this attempt. Just can't get to the puck. Arizona's won that faceoff. By number nine, Clayton Keller, assisted, and by number Got a wampus to the corner by Ekman Larson. By number 16, Sean Karam pass to Wilson. Six minutes, 22 Steps seconds. in from the neutral zone. Through the corner. Moving it to Silverberg. The Coyotes have the pocket center ice. 
Let's it go. He missed the net. That's what you call there. Grip it and rip it. He just missed it. Perfect receipt of the pass. They score! Three straight goals. Arizona's goal has built an even bigger lead. We're in the third period for the opposition. At least that is fortunate. Coyotes the Coyotes control from the neutral zone. Takes that pass. And, by number six, Chikrin. Chikrin. and angled to Chikrin. Shoots. Can't get a shot on. Dominance right now. Slides it to Silverberg. In front. Right back to Silverberg. Hammers one. Kicked away. He's got it in those pads. And a whistle. Buffalo's got a face-off win. That move not too slick there. Takes a shot. Well done with that pass. Just past halfway in the third period. Do you see a pattern developing here? They're up now by three. And he picks it up. To middle step. Arizona's trying to bring this shutout right to the very end. Their goaltender has been outstanding tonight. And they're just a few minutes away from completing the deal. Went to the back end. The big pillows came in handy. Puck loose, strong defensive play by Carlson. Laid on to Chikrin. To Shen. Oh, missed the net. Recollected. Trying to go to Carlson. The Sabres with a neutral zone possession along the way. Tries to get it on net. Directing that one to Chikrin. Taken up near the boards by Shen. Feeds the point. Let's it go. On to Nugent Hopkins. Elevates a pass to Shen. Sandering. Rips one. The shot blocked. Got it right back. Forks it to Shen. And he gets it back. Mishandled thanks to the roadblock. What control. Save. Puck collected. Holds on and gets that whistle. Couturier's point streak is getting notoriety around the league. When you're on a hot streak that lasts this long, everybody notices, everybody wonders when it's going to end. The Coyotes win it. That one's deflected. Canes that offensive line. Just threw it into his pad there. Got that pass off the boards. The Coyotes are at the wing in neutral ice. Sends to the point. Terrific interception. Nice work by Couturier. A slot wrister blocked away. Pitching this one to Chikrin. In with it now. Sends it. Turned away with the stick. Great stop and a cover. Great job by the goalie here. Lots of buzzing in the zone, but he gets the stop and he'll settle things down.
just win it. Offensive possession here. Pass cut. Buffalo's got it and moving up the wing. A shot. Great save. Trying hard to get it out of the zone. Passing one off now to Silverberg. Leads that charge into the zone. Wants the shoulder of the corner here. Dogged determination there by Eric Carlson. In the third period. The Sabres are skating it up at neutral ice. Pass cut. Shoots. Star. <laughs> Buffalo's goal gets them to within two. And we are in the third period. And there's still time for them to strike back. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. You win that, and you don't have to chase. They chase you. Rister from the slot. And the whistle is blown. The net has come off its moorings. Does not get any more dramatic than this. Four feet by six. Yawning open at one end, hoping for an advantage at the other. Snapping a pass to Forsberg. Net open. Missed. Buffalo skating in their own end, trying to get to the neutral zone. Steps across that line. Receives that pass from the other side. A wonderful scoring chance denied. He knocked it in himself. It's in the net, it counts. All kinds of odd goals happen from time to time. This one just works its way in. The Sabres have struck. Back, only trailing by a single goal, and we're in the dramatic third period. And they've won the neutral zone faceoff. By number 92, Alexander Nylander. Time of the goal. Collected by Carlson. What a dream realized for so many of these athletes and all their fans. Your name goes on it, the Stanley Cup. Goalie to the bench, substitution made. The game is over, the championship is won. They've done it, they've done it. They both paid the price to get this far. It winds up being a short summer for both, but the short summer for the loser does not include having the Stanley Cup at your home. That's disappointing. This has long been a tradition, of course, in hockey where sportsmanship replaces the competition that has just been completed. You shake hands, and I'll tell you from experience, it's better to be on the winning side of that handshake than on the losing side. The man chosen playoff MVP gets the Conn Smythe Trophy. Boy, is this ever well deserved. There's always a little bit of an odd feeling when the Conn Smythe Trophy is handed out because it's an individual award when everybody is here to see the best trophy in sports presented. And that will come next. It's often said it's the hardest prize to win because it takes eight weeks. And by tradition, the captain is the first to hold it high. No matter where you look in the hockey world over the next little while, that picture will be the first one that you see. It will also be in his home in a prominent position, I imagine, a moment he'll never forget.
as long as the Stanley Cup has been presented on the ice and then the players have made a victory lap with it, there's been a pecking order as to how the Cup is handed off. Nobody really talks about it. It just organically happens. But everybody knows there's a seniority to the way that this 30-pound trophy is presented player to player. In what would be his last Stanley Cup victory, Wayne Gretzky gathered everyone at center ice for a team picture, and that has now become a custom.